All right, now we have um, some word problems or some application problems that will involve division and multiplication of fractions. So our first one says veterinarian Jasmine Cato has eight nights quart of medication. She wishes to prescribe this medication for four cats in her pet hospital. If she divides the medication evenly, how much will each cat receive? Okay, well we need to think about what's going on here before we start doing anything. We, she's got so much medication and she has to divide that amongst four cats. So isn't what we just said eight ninths divided amongst four cats? Absolutely. Now four is, doesn't look like a fraction so we could put it over one and so that we can see that nicer and now we don't divide fractions. Instead, we need to flip and multiply. So we'll change this to multiplication and do the reciprocal of the second fraction and now we can start in with our multiplication. So 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 two times, so 2 times 1 would be 2 and 9 times 1 would be 9. So this tells us that she's going to give each cat 2 ninths quart of medication. That would be evenly divided. Okay, let's try another one. <clears throat> this one says some college roommates want to make pancakes for their neighbors. They need five cups of flour but have only a one-third cup measuring cup. How many times will they need to fill their measuring cup? Okay, well we could maybe think our way through this one if we wanted to. We could say, okay, if it if we have a third cup measure, it's going to take three of those to make a whole cup. And if we need five cups, then there'd be three, cu three of the measures for each cup. Five cups, we should get 15 cups of, uh, 15 of these uh, times that they'll have to fill the measuring cup. Or we could use our multiplication division rules they're needing to find out how many of these one-thirds are in five. So they really need to find out what is five divided by one-third. How many groups of one-third are there in five? Remember our previous discussion about division and it being really breaking things up into groups? But we don't divide, do we? Instead we flip and multiply. So I'm going to rewrite five as five over one change it to a multiplication and then flip the second fraction. So times 3 over 1. 5 times 3 would be 15, 1 times 1 would be 1, and 15 divided by 1 is 15. So just from what we had kind of reasoned out, we got the exact same thing when we did it mathematically, 15 times. All right, the last one here says, the recipe for a Jelly Belly Express Loaf Cake calls for three-fourths pound of Jelly Belly jelly beans in assorted colors. If you want to make 16 cakes, how many pounds of Jelly Belly jelly beans will you need? Well, each cake is going to be three-fourths pounds of jelly beans. And if I want to make 16 of those, isn't that like adding three-fourths to itself 16 times? That's like a repeated addition problem. This one is actually a multiplication problem. We have three-fourths of a pound for each cake, and we want to do that 16 times. So I'm going to write 16 over 1, and now we can do our simplification. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 16 four times, so 3 times 4 would be 12, and 1 times 1 would be 1, and 12 divided by 1 would be 12. This tells us then that we're going to have to have 12 pounds of Jelly Bellies in order to make those 16 cakes.